Elsie and the Ten Elves. Filinago <laughs> Caneya ne uño la chiel que ne moro mutere show. Me cae morito para mori wara mino de ambari. Once upon a time there was a dear little girl whose name was Elsie. Elsie's father and mother worked very hard and lived a very fine life because of all their hard work. They loved their little girl so, so much that they did not want her to do any piece of work. And she never had, uh, had uh, to lift even a finger to help anywhere. When Elsie grew up, she did not know how to do things for herself. She could not make lunch. She could not keep her clothes, even fold them. She could not work on her own and she just sat and watched others do the work for her. Because Elsie could not work or care for herself, when it came for her to live on her own, her mother and father bought her a house for her to live in. But hard times came for Elsa. There were so many things to be done in that house without servants. And she did not know how to do them by herself. And because of that, she was not, because she was not used to, to working, she always felt very tired even to try doing anything. Every morning she woke up very tired, very tired. I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to do everything. Even uh, Elsa would say over and over again, the problem became even worse. She did not have food to eat because she did not know how to get it or cook it. She was hungry and tired. Elsa cried into her hands. <laughs> oh dear, she sobbed. What will I do? <laughs> I wish I could work. I wish I know how to do things for myself. I wish, I wish I had ten good elves to help me. After she had said these words, a great grey man with beards came to care, to, to, to came to her, and he was wrapped in a strange grey cloak that covered him from head to foot, and he smiled at Elsie so kindly. What is the matter, dear? He said, why do you cry? And after that, there was little music.
cry because I do not know how to care for myself and for, uh, and for my home. I do not know how to work. And I am tired, hungry and afraid, said Else. When I was a little girl and growing up, I never learned how to do things on my own. And now I can't do anything right. I wish I had ten good elves to help me. You shall have them, dear, said the grey man with his smile. Hmm. And he shook his grey clock. And out hopped one, two, three, four, ten elves. <clears throat> no bigger than the fingers on Ilse's hands. Then these ten little elves shall help you, Ilse, said the grey man. They are faithful and clever, and they will do everything you want them to do. But the neighbors might stare and ask questions if they saw, if they saw these little elves running around your house. So I will hide them away from you. Give me your fingers. Yes. Wondering, Elsa stretched out her fingers, her little hand. The grey man touched them. Each one of her ten fingers. And as he touched them, he said to, to he said their names. Little thumb. Pointer, thimble finger, ring finger, pinky, and again on the other hand he repeated, little thumb, pointer, thimble finger, ring finger and pinky as he named each one of the fingers the little elves bowed to their tiny bowed their tiny heads and there was an elf for each and every name on the fingers hop hide yourselves away said the gray man Hop! The elves sprang to, the, to Elsa's knee, then to the palm of her hand, and then, whisk! They were all hidden in the little fingers, an elf for every finger. And the grey man was gone. Elsa sat and looked with wonder, and her hands, and all of her, of, uh, and her hands, all of a sudden, she started to feel her fingers itching. And star. They itched and stared her. Oh, that she even jumped. She even jumped and ran to the kitchen to make some food to eat. Hmm. No sooner had she gotten there than the little elves began to show her how to work. They found all they needed to help Elsa make a nutritious lunch. That was not so hard to do. Hmm. Elsa said excitedly, Wow! Next, the little elves led her to the garden, and in the garden, in a twinkling, 
they were showing her how to prepare plant and care for her land and so it went all day Elsie flew about from one thing to another doing things and the ten elves helped her every step of the way there came a time when the ten elves knew it was time to leave because Elsa had learned to do all her work all by herself. She needed no one to care for herself, for her. She was a hard worker and had a very little, a very happy life. Off they went with the grey man to help others who needed to learn the value of hard work. And Elsa worked uh, wished them well and gave them each a little hug and a kiss and waved them mwah, waved them goodbye 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 and she was very very happy And that is the end of my story. Goodbye, dear children. I hope you will enjoy it. Thank you.